If you experience an injury due to a car accident, it is imperative that you know what to do. So we have Dr. Royce McGowan here to share exactly what you should do if you sustain an injury. So thank you for hanging out with us today and sharing some information that, I mean, a lot of people might have it in their mind, but they don't always know what to follow through. So uh, how, when you have a car accident and you need to reach out, how long do you need have before you to make your appointment to follow well, up? Well, that's a good question. A lot of people don't know. You have 14 days to seek care with any physician, or if you, if day 15, if you try to get care, your auto insurance is not obligated to take care of anything for you. So it's imperative that you go and get checked out immediately that day. I mean, even if you don't have to be, a lot of people think that they have to be half dead mm -hmm. to go in. Yeah. If you're feeling any type of just tightness, tension, go in, get checked out. Make sure you just get a, get, go to a doctor so they can just see what's going on with you, do an evaluation. Then that way, if something flares up on you a month later or even three weeks later, three months later, you got, your auto insurance is obligated to take care of you then. Because if not, they're not going to take so care of you. So don't wait for anything to happen and then go to your auto insurance like, oh, I need to go see a doctor. Go immediately just so you have something on record. Definitely. Okay. Go immediately. No matter how light it is, no matter, go immediately and get checked out. Are there different kind of injuries that can come about from having a car accident? Can you break down some of the bigger, and we're not talking like the brokens and all of that stuff. Okay. It's like minor injuries and you're like, I didn't even know that was a thing. Exactly. And minor can be major later. I see that all the time. But most, the main thing people have when they're getting headaches, I mean, when they get in an accident is headaches. They get pain, numbness and tingling going down the shoulders, arms and fingertips, which comes from your neck. Your middle back can get injured, and that can radiate symptoms around to your chest and your abdomen area. Your lower back, if you have any type of tension, tightness, soreness in there, that can radiate pain into your butt, legs, feet, toes, numbness, tingling, pain, weakness, all kind of. And people don't connect that with the accident when they're having it. They think of everything else, where they got diabetes, they go, oh, that's, that might be neuropathy or something going on. No, that could be coming from your back because you've got an accident, it's been jolted, and now it's sending stuff down your legs. Just go get checked out. That's it. Stop trying to be the doctor. Let us be the doctor. Go get checked out. We'll take care of you. I've had some injuries, and I didn't know what it was, and turned out it was, like you said, I had a pinch nerve in my back, and it just radiated out. Now, really quick, does it matter who's at fault to receive treatment? It does not. Great question. People think when, they, when you get an accident, if it's your fault, go and get care. Your insurance, no fault insurance means no matter whose fault it is, your insurance is going to take care of you if you've been in an auto accident, whether it's your fault or not. Get to the doctor, go get checked out. A lot of times people are just sitting at home, they cause, they hit somebody in the back, their neck is killing them and they're sitting around and just hurting because they don't think that their insurance is going to take care of them. Your insurance will take care of you if it's your fault. Good notes to have. Wish I'd had them for some of mine in the past. <laughs> but All right, so thank you for hanging out and sharing that information. If you guys want to find out more information, check in and uh, connect with Dr. McGowan and his team. Just go to McGowansRC.com. Good information that you're going to need at some point. Hopefully not too bad. But uh, more River City Live coming up, so stay with us. <laughs>